Well, welcome back. Now I have been trading for a little bit now since my bank is getting full and I did delete a lot of items on accident. So I have been trying to clear up a bunch of the static space in my bank. So like all the rail blades and whatnot that I don't use, I am trying to get them out of the way so I will stop deleting items. But since I have been doing it for a little bit, I have noticed that trading has changed a significant amount from back in December. And now it's not really a bad change necessarily. However, it does change what you should be expecting from trading your items and how you should be trading in my opinion. Now the first major change since the last time I was chronically trading for the nothing to everything to series, which was kind of late November and like midway through December, was the introduction of newer events like uh, Diluvian Mechanism, Maestro, and Duke Aresia getting his loot pool buffed, where you can now even get a curb blade from Duke. So these changes overall to the loot pools in the game precede all the older loot pools of the game. Now this isn't a huge deal, but it does mean that you can kind of just farm Diluvian for practically every legendary in game. So you could really easy focus form and get necessarily everything in the game from this one event. Now this does make a big change to trading values because there is a lot more of items circulating. Now as everyone knows the value of an item is usually based on the supply versus demand. So even if things are more circulated doesn't really mean the value has decreased super overall. Like, Crypt Blades will still be the biggest thing to trade other than Blood Forges and whatnot. You don't see much of a big difference in trading value in Deep Woken unless you are talking to bigger traders or experienced players who are just looking for usually HP kits and drip items such as like Deep Woken cloaks and whatnot. So you won't notice a huge value decrease in items necessarily. But if you are talking to these big traders or experienced players, you will usually find it really hard to find a middle ground where you're getting something you believe it's worth and then they're getting something that they believe it's worth. So usually you are feeling like you're, you're kind of getting scammed a little bit or you're overpaying a little bit too much for items that are relatively easy to get now. Now, if you are newer to trading and don't really know what big or like experienced traders usually, you know, how to notice them or what they really are, it is a very easy kind of example. I will show a few, of course, but they're usually just really long list of usually most of the in-game items with like a few good enchants and whatnot posted. And then I'll have a looking for and a mostly looking for. And it will usually be high HP items or fizz kits or something of that sort. Now, these traders are worth trading if you are looking for higher end trades and you got those items in excess. However, if you are just looking for a quick, simple trade that's worth your time and worth the other person's time, I would usually skip out on these traders because usually they won't respond for hours and then when they do, it's usually asking for something more or less you know it's it's just hard to actually trade with these people because they do overvalue and they won't overpay for everything they do have now personally for me i don't like overpaying at least a lot for my trades and i do look for slight overpay when i am trading for people but not nearly the same amount as most people want especially these bigger traders so my way to work around these big traders is simply to kind of not trade with them. Not everyone who will be looking for trades are looking for profit, but more convenience. So I try to find people that are posting looking for posts and then the item they want. And if I have that item I could offer them, I will ask for an item in return that's either convenience or slight profit from what they are asking. And if you aren't trying to make crazy profit or anything like that, you are going to be giving them a convenience of a fast and easy trade for a reliably decent price and you will make a small markup. So it is a bonus for each person. Now this is probably 30 or 40% of my trades I did make for the trading nothing to everything series that I did do. Now these trades are very easy for like the mid to low tier items like hero blades, grands, you know, all those are really easy to trade like this. 
Now, if you are trying to sell your higher tier items like curves, all you really have to do is make a list of the items you want to trade. Now, I know making a list sucks. I've done it multiple times, but I have found a really easy way to do this. And that's just to take one or two screenshots, depending on the size of your inventory, of course, and then finding a text to uh, well, image to text, my bad. Uh, like translator and then posting that in there and then getting the text out deleting the the baffle because uh, if you have enchants it, it messes that up a good bit so you just have to kind of make it more fluid and then I alphabeticalize it because you know I like things to be orderly and then I just kind of post that and then I do my looking for offer which is usually just I'm either looking for offers Sometimes I do like hero blades and whatnot, especially like right now I am because I don't have any left. So I am trying to refill like I'll trade a grand for two hero blades if they're decent stars and whatnot. But you just kind of understand the, the value of convenience over profit for a lot of people because I did trade. I think it was five gale stones for like 3000 notes. Is it a good trade? Absolutely not. But at the time I had like. 10 or 15 gale stones in my bank and I was an enemy by Etrius so I just grabbed a thousand or two notes and I traded it for it and then I just got my rep fixed with Etrius so not every trade has to be valuable for you and them just make sure that it's worth your time plus their time so you're getting convenience they're getting convenience or they're getting convenience and you're getting profit or the other way around and that's a good way to make sure you're getting Consistent but good trades if you ask me, but that is about all I have to ramble about So if you did find it interesting or enjoyed it, it would mean a lot if you did subscribe or like the video But thanks for watching anyway, and I'll see you guys next time